What's up with it everybody? I'm out here showing you my 64 Impala hardtop. I named it Old English, OE, 8-ball, whatever you want to call it. So uh, everyone's been asking to see the engine. I have a 350 engine, obviously has the chrome pulley set up with AC. I have the Holly Sniper EFI carburetor, uh, you know, the upgraded brake booster, CPP uh, power steering. I have the three row original looking aluminum radiator. You could drive this car all over the place. I mean, if you really wanted to take it from Long Beach to Vegas, you could. It does have an inch and a half tuck on it. And uh, the guy that I got it from, he had it shimmed so it would drive straight and true. If you still like the tuck like I like, you could just pop the shims out of it, which I'll probably end up doing. But right now it's all shimmed up and ready to rock just like it is. It has the new upgraded three speed uh, wiper. It came from Texas, so everything works in it. Heater, defrost, air conditioner blows snow, wipers, no problem. If you look at the front, it's got $7,000 in show chrome all the way through the car. It has the super bright HID halo headlights. Um, I'm running 72 spoke Daytons. They're triple stamped. And uh, got the dog ear KO here. Remington tires. All underneath looks just as nice as the interior. Uh, my buddy had shaved the badges back in the day. I've ordered a gold package for it that's gonna come, which is gonna consist of the bumper guards, the Chevrolet emblem, the bezels. I'm gonna do the windshield wipers, the breezies, the scratch pads. Obviously, I'm gonna put gold fender flags there, the gas tank trim, this Impala logo, and then I'm gonna finish it off on the back with rear bezels and uh, rear bumper guards, all gold. And if it ends up selling in between then and now, depending on the price we work out, you might get the gold to come with the car. It's a two pump setup. It's just a basic lay and play. The car's not made to lift or anything like that. It just goes up and down. It has the accumulators for the smooth ride, six battery setup, two pumps. Uh, you know, the accumulators are painted to match. I've also added the amber lights on the antennas and in the trunk, so at night it all glows through it in the cabin also. Uh, underneath, it still has the shocks, the pan hard bar, and all that stuff, so it keeps the car, ri I mean, it rides and handles as tight and smooth as any new car. Let's go to the interior. Uh, the car was painted by my buddy Homer Signs. He actually built this car, and at the end, he had $120,000 into the car. It's got the lace, the water marks look like I spilled my OE across the top of it. The lace looks really deep. It's a little dirty because it's been sitting out here, but uh, I need to get my detailer in here. It's also got all, every, all the chrome is brand new inside. It has the Dakota digital dash. It's the old school looking style, but um, it actually lights up and all that other stuff, all the colors. Let's see. So when you use this Holly Sniper, you go ahead and turn the key. It sets itself, it adjusts itself every time. The setup alone is like close to two grand and then to have it installed is about 1500. So I haven't gassed or started this car probably in four days. <laughs> This controls the cabin lights, the uh, antenna lights, and the trunk lights. Everything gro glows under here. You can't obviously see it in the daytime, but it's all amber to match the car. Four switches, front, back, and side to side set up on this car, but I'm actually gonna switch this to front, back, and corners. Uh, let me turn it off. It has an Alpine, it's pretty loud. It car runs, I mean, it, it's unbelievable. It's got an Alpine setup, two six by nines in the back with a 10 inch woofer. Sounds, I mean, amazing. I think these are six and a halfs right here in the kick panels. Everything is brand new. The kick panels, the carpet, the door, all the interior. Let me get out of your way so you can get a good look at her. And then the patterns on the dash, they also match the roof and uh, it looks amazing. I, I mean, you can see every bit of it. Probably, I don't know if the camera translates it as well as the human eye, but it looks amazing. It's one of my favorite parts of the entire car. 
I obviously don't have a lift, so I can't get this car up in the air for you so you can get a good look underneath, but uh, you're more than welcome to come by and take a look. Like I said, my buddy's got $120,000 in the car. The receipts are important. I can get them. I can connect you with the guy that actually built this car, and uh, I'm asking $70,000 or best offer, and it comes just as it sits. Obviously, if we negotiate a little bit better, you'll get that gold, but you know. Uh, every, everything's really nice on this car and I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing for a ride with my buddy so you can see it on the streets and how it performs. Let me go on and give you guys a little example of the switches. It's a little different setup than what I usually go with in my stuff. Uh, I usually run the eight battery two pump setup and then I use a bit of aggressive gear in a Versace but the car lays out nice. It has shorter springs in the front so I keep it up just a little bit so it stays off of the, sit here that right there, that's when it lays on the mufflers. Like a lot of guys like them to lay out. I'm gonna actually put a full stack of springs in here just so I can, uh, it doesn't lay out like that and I don't have that issue. Um, the car is not wrapped because obviously you see how it goes up and down. It has never been hopped or anything like that. It's just a straight lay and play car. Um, obviously there's watermarks and stuff. We've had a little bit of rain here in California, but um, we're gonna get on the street and I'm gonna show you guys how this little girl performs. A little booty action. And here's her locked all the way up in the back. That's it right there. Um, the skirts are coming. When I did actually did a trade for my convertible for this car, and I was selling that car anyways, I'm gonna shorten the rear end tentatively if it doesn't sell, but my buddy's color matching, that painted the car is color matching the skirts to come to me, so whenever I get those, I'll be throwing those on also. Or whoever buys it, they can get those to go with them. All right.